Hey everyone, welcome to Psych 2820 Minds, Brains, and Machines. This is the Fall 2020 online section. So first, a little background about me. My name is John Schofield. I'll be your instructor. As for my education, uh, I kind of bounced all around Missouri. I'm originally from Kansas City. I went up and received a Bachelor of Science in Psychology from Truman State University that's in Kirksville, Missouri. I then went down to Springfield and got my Master's in Experimental Psychology from Missouri State University. And now I'm here in Columbia, currently finishing up my PhD here at Mizzou. I study cognitive neuroscience and specifically my lab looks at the neural underpinnings of human episodic memory. So since this is an online class, my office hours will be by appointment only, and they'll most likely be over Zoom, which I'm sure we're all familiar with these days. I will say the best way to reach me is via email, and I usually respond pretty quickly to questions, usually within the same day. Um, and then one of the good things about this class is you don't need a textbook. I try to design my courses to be free and accessible to everyone, so I hope you all can just save a few bucks that way. In terms of course content, we'll talk a lot about cognitive science, and this deals with how humans process information and make useful predictions about our world. It draws on several disciplines like psychology, neuroscience, computer science, linguistics, and more. In this class, we'll introduce some of the core concepts of cognitive science, how the brain works, and how machines play a role in understanding the mind and brain, uh, both metaphorically and literally. Throughout this course, you'll be able to identify the structures and functions of the human brain, be familiar with the big concepts of the human mind, and just be able to have intelligent conversations about how artificial intelligence is shaping our world today, along with the parallels between artificial, art, artificial intelligence and human intelligence. Excuse me. You should uh, additionally be able to read through a paper or an article and be able to extract some of the important aspects about it. Some things to expect about this course, uh, it is online, but it's not self-paced, so it'll be kind of similar to a traditional 16-week course. There will be new material every week, and you'll have deadlines every week. Everything from the course should be available on Canvas, and that's where you'll submit all of your assignments and exams. An online course, however, it gives you a lot of flexibility. Uh, you can create your own schedule for one. Uh, but this actually puts a lot of responsibility on yourself. You'll have to get things done and stick to your schedule. So it's best to schedule your work for this class just like you would do your job. I would say block out consistent schedules of time and work on this class pretty regularly. The weeks in this class run from Monday through Sunday. Each week you'll have some PowerPoint slides to review, sometimes lecture videos to watch, um, sometimes I'll send you news articles and sometimes even other YouTube videos, which I find useful. In terms of assignments, you'll have multiple deadline, deadlines through, uh, throughout the week. Every Wednesday, you'll have a discussion board post to write. You'll read a prompt that I put up on Canvas and you'll have to respond accordingly. On Fridays, you'll have homework assignments that are due. These will typically just be a few questions, one or two or three that you'll write out your answers uh, after doing some type of research on our further investigation. These are to get you really thinking about certain topics and these will be due on Fridays. And then on Sundays, you'll have a quiz and these will all be multiple choice questions. And then throughout the course, you'll have three exams kind of spread out and these will also be all multiple choice. I'm not going to make the exams cumulative, so it'll be just whatever we studied over the most recent block of the class. And then for all the assignments, so discussion boards, homeworks, quizzes, exams, they'll be due by 11.59 p.m., so essentially midnight on that particular night. I have a course breakdown of the points. I won't go over it here, but it's um, here for you to review on your own. And same for this, the class is points-based, so you need to get at least X number of points to earn a certain grade. Um, since it is point-based, there won't be any rounding up to achieve any type of grade here. Okay, so this is an important point. Um, I won't accept late work. In designing this course, I didn't want to make it overly difficult. I just want you to become familiar with broad topics. So in lieu of making the class overly difficult, you're, uh, you'll earn your points in this class through time management. So put alarms on your calendar or your phone or whatever you need to do, but just turn in your assignments on time and I have faith you'll do okay in this class. 
Um, in terms of outline, the first third of the class will be about brains, what they are, what they're made of, and generally what different parts of the brain are responsible for, what do they do. The second third of this class will be about the mind, so the big topics you should be aware of regarding things like attention, memory, emotion, language, things like that. And then the final third will be about artificial intelligence and how that's playing a role in our world today. So I find all these topics fascinating, which is why I wanted to kind of teach this course. And I think these topics could be interesting to other people too. But there's definitely a lot of ground to cover in this class. Uh, I mean, it could be just three whole separate classes, one on minds, one on brains, one on machines. So I just wanted to use this platform just as kind of a brief introduction to these topics. Um, I won't be going into depth on every topic, so it's not going to be an extensive review. I just want you to be familiar with what things are and in turn kind of inspire you to do your own research to learn more. You should have more unanswered questions at the end of this course than you do um, answered ones. I want you to embrace that. I want you to embrace it and learn independently and motivate yourself on topics that you find interesting. If I can inspire just one person to join a research lab at Mizzou or eventually study neuroscience, um, as a future career, I will have done my job here. Okay, so I think I went over this already, um, but it's here for you to review. And yeah, so the way I wanted to structure this class is really through kind of bite-sized learning. So shorter lectures and generally just less work. I know everyone's pretty stressed um, with the global pandemic going on right now. So that's the last thing I wanted to do is have just, excuse me, I'm recording this from my office. Um, so the last thing I wanted you guys to do is have to read chapters over chapters and watch hour-long videos. I know you all have a lot going on. Um, so and, and also I realize that there are more deadlines for assignments in this class, but uh, I mean everything comes with a trade-off, right? So anyway, that's pretty much it for our course introduction. Um, just a couple notes. Uh, since everything is going to be free and online, uh, I'm just recording these lectures on my laptop, so I apologize in advance for the quality. Um, you'll probably occasionally hear things in the background like a truck driving by or my dog. Um, and you'll probably hear me blunder um, a few sentences uh, in every lecture, so I apologize in advance. I'm going to try to do the best I can. Um, but other than that, I'm glad to have you all here with me this semester. Um, I'm always available to talk. My email is listed in the syllabus. Um, and welcome to the class.